the effortless panache, Danny Boy. So, uh, so it's nice to be here in Melbourne. I've actually been uh, touring around regional Australia for the last two months. <laughs> it's nice to be in a theatre where you can't hear the electricity. Uh, <laughs> Why is it, whenever you travel around regional Australia, and you'll know this yourselves, right? You stop at a service station, and you ask to use the toilet. Why do they give you a giant bloody key? What's all that about? Where's the toilet? Hogwarts? What am I going to do with this? Where's... I said to the lady last week, I said, why is the key so big? She said, in case you steal it. <laughs> it's a toilet key. I don't even really want to touch it. <laughs> thing. And it's never just there. They never say the toilet, it's just over there. No, it's an adventure. <laughs> You've got to go out of here, turn right three blocks that way, over the bridge, through the forest, you'll come across a troll. <laughs> He'll ask you three questions. If you get them right, you get another key. <laughs> Forget it. I'll piss myself, don't worry about it. I checked into a motel. Uh, a motel is like a, a hotel, in, in the same way a McDonald's is like a restaurant. Do you know? <laughs> I mean, check into a motel in, in Karatha, right far northwest, Karatha. And uh, I opened uh, the door, I turned on the light. Here's something I hadn't seen before in Australia. There was a lizard on the wall, right? About that size. Well, maybe about that size. This fucking thing looked like that. <laughs> I thought, what the hell is that? I thought it was a, a, an ornament at first, but it was breathing through its neck. I thought, that's not right. <laughs> so I phoned up uh, reception. Absolutely true story. So I phoned up reception. I said, hello, uh, there appears to be a small dinosaur in my room. <laughs> and the guy says, oh, yeah, mate, yeah, that's a gecko. <laughs> and he hung up. <laughs> I am working on my Australian accent. <laughs> you know, I've noticed in this trip, there is, there is regional variations. If you've ever seen me in the past before, my Australian accent's always been black and black and black and black. I know that, because I was in Adelaide. Adelaide, do you not think? It's got a slightly different sound from everywhere else in Australia. It's got like a bounce to it, yeah? It's like, Hawaii! It, is that just me? Hi! How's it going? You all right? <laughs> It's like the words in Adelaide, they don't so much come out of the mouth as, as sort of bungee jump out of it. <laughs> Oi, how are you going? You enjoying Adelaide? <laughs> okay, and, and, and occasionally the cord snaps. That's when you get, I know. Right, so this thing's in the, in, the, in the thing, right? And I thought, right, I'm, I'll just have to ignore it, right? Try and get to sleep. So I get into the old bed there, and um, see, this is the thing you notice in, in hotel beds in Australia. I, I don't know if you ever noticed this, when you roll over sometimes and you feel your arse cheeks slowly parting. <laughs> from, hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm talking about when they put two single beds together, right? <laughs> when they put, uh, thing. I probably should have done that bit first. <laughs> 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 What kind of hotels is this guy staying in? <laughs> so I'm, I'm lying in the bed and this thing's in the wall and I thought, right, I'm going to have to just get to sleep. I just have to ignore this thing. So I turned out the light, but no one told me this. That's when the bloody thing comes to life. <laughs> I, I turn out the light here, this and I turn on the light and it's fucking... You know, <laughs> ran across the... And looking all innocent, what, what is it? What, what do you mean? You, you, were, you were there and you're now there. You know you've moved, I know you've moved. Let's <laughs> cut the shit, shall we? Where are you? You can't prove anything, you can't. You? <laughs> and, and, and the worst moment was I turned on the light at about four o'clock in the morning, can't see it. I thought, shit, I couldn't sleep when I could see it. And I, I'm looking around the room, can't find this gecko. I get back into the old bed there. I'm just about to turn out the light. It's on the bloody ceiling! <laughs> And I screamed, oh, I've never screamed like that before. Scream, ah! It drops from the ceiling onto my chest. And but I did the strangest thing I've ever done in my life. I started blowing on the gecko. Get off, you. 
I realise geckos have two looks, it's going on loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you've been lovely. Thank you very, very much for listening.